First practice in the blue jersey today. How did it feel being out there for the first time? It was a little different. I've never played quarterback in blue jersey while uh, other people were wearing red jerseys. But um, after I got used to that, it was uh, it was great. I had I had a really good time being out there. I was telling someone else a little bit ago. I think this morning I was thinking about it. it's been 10 months since I've been out on a practice field playing football, and that feels like an eternity. So it was great just to be able to strap it up again and go play. And then once I got out here, it was you know it was awesome to start learning our offense in an organized setting. And uh, you know rather than Obviously, you know, the guys did a great job teaching it to me this summer, but now have some official direction to it to know this is what we're preparing for. This is why we do stuff. I was going to say, can you talk a little bit about the learning process you did over the summer? Obviously, you were allowed to go into Coach Morrison's office and talk to him, and like you said, your teammates were sort of walking you through some things, but where do you feel you are in terms of absorbing the offense and developing a little comfort level? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, still have a, I still have a ways to go in terms of the learning process, and, and that will come in the, ne in the, in the next few days and, and weeks before, before the season starts. But I feel like this summer, you know, guys like Connor, guys like Garrett Christich and, and the other quarterbacks and Coach Morrison and then our receivers who all have been here for a while who know the offense have done such a great job of teaching me what to do that it's made it a little bit easier as you step out here for the first time. I felt like maybe I was still thinking a little bit, but not nearly as much as I would have been. I, you know, I, I feel like things are coming a little bit slower and I can say, you know, I take a play and I, I'm not, well, where do I go? Rather, I'm, you know, I know where to go. When you run drills out here, it looks like every time you throw a ball, Coach Morrison is right behind you, walks up, starts talking to you. What's in those conversations? What kind of things is he looking at and asking you to work on? Well, you know, Coach Morrison expects uh, us to have high standards for ourselves, and he has high standards for us. And so when I don't put a ball, you know, right right here where I expect it, right right on his chest or right on his hands where I expect it, you know, we're going to talk about it and say, you know, what can we do to make it better? How Technique-wise, how is that wrong? Or, or you know, maybe where can that ball be the next time to make it a little bit better or, or where can my eyes go the next time on the read to make it a little, to make it happen a little bit faster or in a little bit more of a game situation. Coach Jones said at media day that you go into camp as the starter. What does that do in terms of taking one thing away from what you've got to think about or how does that change your approach to practice? Honestly, it doesn't change much. You know, my goal coming in here was was to um, earn the starting job. Um, obviously, you know, maybe that that's and I don't feel like that's achieved yet. You know, because we're not playing Baylor this week, so I've so I've still got to I've still got to go out there and earn my way, learn the offense, learn ex uh, earn the trust of the guys, earn the trust of the coaches, and, and do my best job to be ready for Week One. You used the description a couple of weeks ago of being a freshman with three years of college experience. Oh, yeah. At what point do you anticipate feeling comfortable enough that you can start looking at Baylor, or do you start already looking at Baylor? I feel comfortable right now. Um, obviously, I've still got, like I said, I've still got a little ways to go in terms of learning the offense, and I've still got a little uh, ways to go in terms of learning a couple concepts and being fully comfortable with, uh, you know, where s subconsciously I know where to go with the ball. My eyes are just going one, two, three on my reads instead of, okay, one, now where's two, now where's three. So as those things come, you know, then I start, then I start putting it towards uh, a game plan. You and the other quarterbacks wear the blue jerseys. Obviously nobody's allowed to touch the quarterbacks. Do you want to get hit once or twice, or do you feel like you need to get hit before? <laughs> Not by some of our guys. <laughs> I saw him this summer. I don't want to get hit by some of our guys. No, you know, I, I'm looking forward to taking that first hit. I'm, I'm, you know, obviously, I think our offensive line is going to do a great job protecting me. But at some point, it's going to come, and so I'm looking forward to it. I saw, I saw a quote with Peyton Manning the other day. He said, kind of wants to just get that first one over with when they play Erlacher next week. So, you know, I, I kind of feel the same way. I'm, I'm really ready to get back out there and, 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 and take a hit again. This presumably has got to be the first team ever to have two quarterbacks named Garrett. Have you come up with nicknames to separate things in the uh, well, meeting rooms? I, I don't know if Coach has. I call Garrett Stitch. I find it weird to call someone else the same name as me, so I got to come up with a nickname for him. Coach Morrison calls us both Garrett sometimes, so it's a little hard to it's a little hard to figure out. So hopefully we'll try and get him to get some nicknames for us. But you haven't been here long enough to get christened with a nickname by some of your teammates yet. Um, some of the other guys got a couple for me. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to share them though. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, uh, like, you know, some people call me GG, stuff like that. Just, just simple enough.